guys, welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft Factions server. In the last episode, I showed you guys I'm not a noob anymore. I am learning some stuff. There is some stuff I need to tell you guys though about the base. It is a 9x9 nine nine obsidian box with sand walls all the way up to sky level which Millwall Tyler is actually working on right now and it does have trenches around the obsidian box um, going down to bedrock but one thing I didn't tell you guys is that at the bottom of the trenches at bedrock there is slabs at the bottom so when the sand or or whatever falls down there it breaks so that's one thing i didn't tell you guys if you are looking to build the same base but today guys we're going to be working on the chest room and this is a way to protect your chests in factions i'm learning guys i can't wait to show you guys all the stuff that i've learned so um let me walk to the shop um tyler's actually working on the walls right now to um get it all the way up to sky level because we're at level 200 right now so he went to the shop to go buy some sand and he's actually building it up um what do i need i need to buy i've got 22 chests i need some trapped chest how much are they they're 300 each and um, how much money do i have i have fourteen thousand. okay let's do that um oh, oh you can buy 16 cool uh, let me buy some more of them as well so that should be good i want to see if i've got any kits available to me guys because because i am youtuber rank i do get the warrior kit and i want to see if i've used them all I, I think i might have let me do that oh i need to wait 17 more hours before i can use them again okay did i use the last one i don't know if i used the last kit yeah i used every single kit so um if you are a rank guys as you can see you do get access to a lot of kits on the server um what do we have we have villager we have knight we have warrior guardian king and queen king and queen are exactly the same uh, it's just if you're a boy or a girl you can choose which rank you have the guardian is the kit that i won in the crate how amazing is that um oh tyler will be back in 40 minutes he's just building up the wall uh let's reply to him okay cool um so we're gonna go back to the base guys and we are going to work on the chest room now i found this cool looking chest room online um i'm not taking credit for it guys i did not come up with this design this is just a cool way to protect your chest so these chests will be moved and this is the area where we're going to protect our chest so what you need to do you need to get regular chests and normal chests and place them like no regular chests and trap chests not regular chests, normal chests and place them like this the reason you want to do that because you can place trap chests and regular chests next to each other like that and we're only going to go up one more level so i'm going to get rid of these torches like this and <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to place some cobblestone um about here like this just above this these chests right here and what this does this enables it so people can't come in your base and open up your chests that's what it does so that's a cool way to lock your chest right there but you can make it a, a one step further so there's a reason i bought all these um lava buckets right here right so i've got the lava buckets let me get some more room um there we go let's just move this around and what i want to do and this doesn't burn the chest so this is a cool thing i want to put lava in every single one of these slots right here just like that um can i get some more uh do i have enough i probably need one more yep just like that all right so we're nearly there so you want to get lava just above it just like that i'm probably going to need some more after this and put it just like that so that is the protection for the chest and i'm going to show you what this actually does so what i'm going to do now is get some slabs i'm just going to put some slabs along the front like this and then i am gonna need to build up above this lava right here and what we're going to need to do is do the same formation with the chests that we did before so i'm going to need the trap chest and the regular chests and we're going to need to do the same thing we're going to need to alternate between the two just like this and i think that one goes there yep hold shift and that should go there and then we could do the same again with the trap chest just like that and then this gives us a lot of storage right there you know that's quite a lot of chests we probably will need more in the future but for now in a starter base that's pretty good um so what we're going to do now we're going to build up once again and we are going to do a double layer 
of cobblestone right here but before we do the double layer we're gonna need some more lava so I'm gonna have to go and get some so I can place it down in the same position that we did before um, do I have any left in here no I do not so let's put all the buckets back um, oh by the way that's all the stuff that I got from my kit right there look at all that golden apples and stuff I got all that stuff from my kit um, oh, if you're wondering why I have a king pick, someone gave it to me. That's why I have it. Um, so let me go back to the shop, uh, warp shop, and we're going to buy some more lava buckets. I think I need seven, seven lava buckets. I hope I have enough. Uh, let's go buy some more of these. Uh, where is it? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's buy one more just in case. Uh, do I have enough? Uh, yeah, let's go home. A. And then the only thing that annoys me is waiting the three seconds because I'm so used to like being like an op or stuff and a mod. Oh, let me just show you guys. If I do like game mode um, creative, right? I don't have permission to that. I removed all my permissions just to make this series fair. Um, so let, let me build across here so I can walk across right here. And I want to get all of these lava buckets in my inventory so i can place them down so we've got one there one there one there there all the way across oh not like that can i put another one there there we go so we have enough i've bought yeah but one too many that's perfect right so there we go guys that is not finished now that is just how you set it up so you have all the chests like that and you have the lava going behind it just like that so now what we need to do is put the cobblestone above the above this piece of cobblestone here so we have a two thick piece of cobblestone like that and we need to get our half slabs depending on how tall your base is and i need to put half slabs across the roof just like this and then i need to get some buckets of water which i do not have let me go grab some of these and i'm going to do home out side i get about seven homes i think guys because the youtube rank is basically the equivalent to a warrior rank and i think it gets about seven homes all the information about the the perks and stuff that you can get are all on the the store so and the link will be in the description so if you need to get some stuff um you can go check that out so let me do home a like this and then what i need to do right here is put the water all the way across here I think I've got enough buckets so one two three four five six seven and there we go guys this is how you lock your chests so this is what I've learned on how to lock your chest in factions so we've got a decent base and we've got a decent way to lock chests I can't open these chests and you're thinking how am I gonna open them now what this does it basically creates an obsidian generator above your chest so we have lava behind this so what I need to do to open my own chests I'm gonna to need to break that open the chests and then the cobblestone regenerates did you see that watch I break that the lava comes back and it locks the chest how cool is that so these are like kind of self locking chests so I will label these chests by putting like I don't know item frames along here or something and then when I go in the chest I will need to break that open that get whatever I need put whatever I need in like let's put the chest in there like that and then they're automatically locked right there if I need to open it back up break that open it up and I can get the chest out again and the water here stops people from using creeper eggs and stuff like that from breaking the chests and yeah so it's pretty good you some of you might be thinking what about the sides and the back with the water the water on top of the base kind of protects that so we'll we will be all right there um so this is the first level done we have our chest room right there this is level a of our base now we have home b which is going to be the second floor i'm not sure what to put up here for now i might just put some water in here just in case anyone does break through they can't like get out of here so yeah i might do that now um just for now just just in case anybody anybody does uh, break into our house if i got some water there the water will fall down no i can't do that because then the water will fall down um, I might do it actually I might do it because I was thinking the water might fall down and go onto the lava and stop the chest thing from working but if I put the water there it will stop anybody using TNT to blow it up I think 
Um, the whole point of it, guys, like I said in the last episode, making a factions base is all about making it as difficult as possible for the people raiding you. That is always about. There's no base that is going to be unraidable. Like, there's no base unraidable, but you just got to make it hard and make it difficult for them <laughs> to raid you, you know? I don't expect this base to never get raided. I just, ex I want, if someone raids this base, I want them to work for it, you know? <laughs> I want it to take them, like, a couple hours to get in, at least, you know? It might not even take that, at least an hour or something, where they've got to use a ton of TNT and stuff, and um, just a regular person can't ra raid me. Maybe it have to be someone who's rich on the server that can buy a ton of ton of TNT to be able to raid me. So the reason I'm doing this right now, guys, is just in case anybody gets up here, then when they get in here, they've got water here that's stopping them get down below as well. So if I do home A right there, I am going to go back to the chess room. And this is the chess room. Let's check if home B works quickly. Does it work if it takes me up there? Yeah, it does. It takes me there. All right, cool. So we have home A and home B. So guys, what I'm going to do now, I am going to go and open up a crate to end off the episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I, I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm learning a lot. I have a common key and a vote key. Um, let me go and use the common key and then we'll I'll go and contact the staff members and I will get my rare key and then I'll open that up as well. Now, you know what, guys? We're just going to do a common key today. We did a rare key in the last episode. Let's just do a common key today, see what we get. I might not, If I get a kit, I'm not even going to have enough stuff to put it off in my, in, in my inventory. So let's put all this stuff over here. I'm really getting into factions, guys. Factions is something that you do need to learn. You can't just dive in and expect to, like, do loads of stuff. You need to learn about it. You need to understand what you're doing. You need to, you need to expect to lose your stuff. A lot of people come on factions, lose their stuff because they got raided and then they get mad and quit. Like You can't have that mentality on factions. That's what it's not about. It's about being smarter than your opponent. But if you lose yourself, stuff just like applaud them and say fair play to raiding me, you know. So let's open the common crate, see what we get. I'm hoping for money. I want some money. 30k. Nice. We've got 30k added to our balance right there. So I should do bow. 42k right there that just what i needed so yeah guys um i know the big question a lot of you are going to be asking is <clears throat> can i join your faction i'm going to be accepting people into the faction guys because we need some more power we need some to claim more land to make our base bigger so uh, make sure you play on the server and when i come on the server i'll talk to you and see if i can trust you to join the faction but guys i uh, hopefully you are enjoying this series so far i'm enjoying making it i've enjoyed learning some more things about factions we locked our chests in a cool way so i need to put all my stuff in here uh, but yeah guys that is it thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another episode on factions we need to find a man guys we're on a hunt to meet our first man today here we go it's this guy here this is who we're gonna meet i don't know who he is what's his name his name's carl so let's go and have a friendly introduction with carl um sorry summer gonna have to ditch you right now